Peg's asking, why did I drive through snow like that? I'll have to talk about a minivan. You know? It's kind of weird, right? Typically, you wouldn't really just talk about a minivan. They're not very cool. You know, they're, they're just people carriers. But credit where credit is due. I mean, this is a neat car. It's got some pretty nifty features. Not too much to look at on the outside, but on the inside, it's pretty awesome. I mean, again, it's just, it's just a people carrier. So this is a Chrysler Pacifica. And I think they've done a pretty good job. It's, I mean, Pacifica used to be an SUV, as some of you may know, but now it's a minivan for parents who've given up or dads who've given up and given in to their wives, I suppose, right? I'm not exactly where I wanted to be. I wanted to be somewhere up there, but you know, there's a bit of snow on the ground and I'll drive through snow, but uh, if, if there's mounds of snow, I don't want to be driving through in a minivan. There's a winter warning here winter weather warning <laughs> and it's a it's a little chilly too again like i said credit where credit is due i didn't want to let this go unfilmed yeah here you are that's kind of what it looks like around here but yeah have a quick look at it so leds on the back no leds on the front there you go the one thing I gotta say, I really, I don't like black on cars that much. Every other color is fine. Uh, I like brighter colors, you know, more colorful stuff. But grays, if they're done right, I absolutely love them. And this gray, look at that. It's done really well. I'll, I'll give you a better view up close. But this gray is, is, is really cool. On some other cool cars, like it's called like something like shark gray. Uh, I don't know what Chrysler calls this. I mean, as far as dark colors go, if you like dark colors, but you don't like black like me, uh, this is a good color to go with. But here you go. This is, this is a few of the things I wanted to just show here. If you just want to have something that's like a people carrier, this is for you, right? Again, if you've given up and you don't want to have something cool like a pickup or an SUV, that's kind of what I'd, I'd recommend you go with. But you look around here, there's a ton of stuff. There's the stow and go and everything. I'm not going to demonstrate it because there's tons of videos and everything on that. And most people who get these things know about it anyway. But look up top. There's climate control for the rear seats. I've matched it to the driver up front because I'm the only one driving this. And of course you have the nice little nifty button here. If your hands are full of groceries or crying babies, just hit the button and door closes it here for you. That's what it looks like up front. So CarPlay is, I think it's wireless. Or I had to disconnect CarPlay so I could record stuff. But touch for your for your trunk and there you go tons of trunk space and everything exactly what gets advertised you know on TV it's nice it's a good car so coming in here uh, I think one of the coolest things any car can have is radar cruise control and this has it I mean again you just need to go from A to B and radar cruise control is just fantastic for when you're on the highway. Even when you're in a, in a cool car, I mean, radar cruise control is one of the most convenient features you can have. Oh, look at that, CarPlay connected. And of course in here, you've got all your, all the luxuries that you'd kind of expect in a modern minivan. Uh, I have all my, I have my heated seat and the heated wheel turned on. You have automatic, Automatic climate control and everything. I have it turned on to, to auto and to sync up with the front and the rear. It's got one of those uh, old smoker windows. You can't use them anymore like you could in the 50s or whenever that was a big thing. Lots of storage space. There's cubbies here and here. Lots of charging ports over here. Plenty of cup holders. More space here. And it's a front wheel drive car so you don't have a drive shaft or anything going down the middle. So you've got ton of, a ton of space here, very, very reminiscent of an electric car. And sight lines are amazing. I mean, like you can't see the hood really unless you like peek your head over, which is good. I mean, again, this is not, this is meant to be a people carrier. Pockets everywhere and you can keep your phone here. Bunch of stuff in here. Not too much for the kids back there, I suppose, right? But I guess that's a good thing because you don't want them screwing around too much. But in any case, there's captain seats back here, which is good. They got, they got their cup holders, that's all they need. 
So you have your obligatory passenger monitor, right? Watching the folks back there get a little crazy. Here's a quick shot of the, the key fob as well. Uh, it's got all the major functions that you would need from your key fob. Obviously lock, unlock, now pretty much every car has remote start. SUVs and everything also have your trunk opening uh, button here, but then panic button of course. The buttons that you don't typically see are the the ones to open the sliding doors on the left and right side of the van. So pretty nifty, candy feature. Um, yeah, it's a small thing, but they did a good job with the key fob too. I mean, modern fobs tend to be really fat and unwieldy, but uh, if they've got good stuff on them, you know, it's a little excusable. There you go. And lastly, if you look, I forgot to point this out earlier. The door sills are pretty low. So you can step in really easy. And there's plenty of space back there for your kids to store stuff. So, not entirely correct to say that there's nothing back there for them. All they need is snacks and food and enough room to kick their feet and not punch each other, right? So, I think this does that. There you have it. So, like I said, if you're just looking for a cool car to get you from A to B, it's probably not it. It's not a very cool car. But if you're looking for a, a nice comfy car to get you from A to B, this is it. I'm not going to do a rev test or sound off on the engine or anything. It's plenty powerful. Um, again, A to B does a trick. You know, you can cruise on the highway and whatnot. Any comments, criticism, just post them down below. I'll, I respond to everything. I look at everything. And I'll do a few, few seconds of, of driving footage here as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go. As promised, I'm not gonna gun it again. It's, like I said, I don't mind driving in snow or anything, it's whatever. But you gotta be mindful of what you're driving. So we'll see if there's a straight. Um, I'll push it a little bit, but nothing too much. Because anyway, the traction control kicks in if you push it down too hard. Like right now, you probably see it. It's not flashing, but there you go, it's flashing a little bit, but it's a pretty view, right? There you go, there's some mountains right there. It's a modern vehicle, so it shouldn't be shocking, but it's, it is impressive that it's, you know, well below freezing here. I think it's like 12 degrees here when I last checked, but I think it's going to go down to like 6. So it's anywhere between like 0 and 20 degrees, which is, uh, it's cold and it's going to affect the type of snow that's on the ground and et cetera, et cetera. And plus this is, this is like just middle of nowhere. It's between Ellsworth and Bangor, so it is the middle of nowhere. And, and, and as an aside, I'm, I'm really impressed at what, what the, what the snow crews around here are able to do. They clear up pretty much every main street here. Except for like the tiniest street, they, they get everything cleared up. But yeah, it looks like there's a bit of a street, so once we clear this little crest here, I'll give it some. You can hear the engine a little bit, but you see it's just flashing. Traction control. It sounds pretty good for a minivan, right? Like I said, everything I've, I've said here, just take it with a grain of salt, put a little asterisk on it. You're, you're not going to have your pants blown away or anything. It's, again, it's a minivan, so you're buying it for a very functional purpose, but hey, if you're in the market for a minivan, this is useful information for you, right? But if you're in the market for a minivan, I kind of hope that you uh, maybe think about getting something else. There's tons of really cool SUVs and trucks on the market that are way cooler and you'll, you'll enjoy driving them more. But modern minivans have come a long, long way. It's, uh, it's, they're, they're good cars, that's, that's for sure. Can't really hate on them for anything other than their 
because it's not cool or fun. But as functional vehicles, man, like you can't you can't ask for much more than a, than a minivan. I think I won't be doing too much more of this because I want to make sure I have my full attention on the road. There aren't that many cars on these streets right now. Again, like I said, there's a winter warning out here. Winter storm warning, I should say. So I think everyone's at home. I mean, if Maine shuts down a lot of stuff, I think, I guess, that, that says a lot about the type of weather it's to be expected. I think we're in a bit of a lull at the moment. But soon the second wave is going to come through and it's currently Thursday, so I think tonight into Friday is going to be a is going to be a pretty uh, it's going to be a bigger wave, metaphorically speaking. That is, it's obviously snow. Yeah. Again, thank you for watching. Do all the YouTube things for me if you have. Uh, Criticisms, compliments about this car, about this video, please leave them below. And please do subscribe, it definitely helps. But thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.